Good morning, everybody. Welcome. I'm Mr. Liam Hammer. I'd like to read a story today. The book I've chosen is called The Dinosaur Tooth Fairy. Let's see what's inside. The Dinosaur Tooth Fairy. There you can see a picture of it. looks like a museum, doesn't it? Inside the museum of truly old things, past the food court, the woolly mammoths and the wheel exhibit, the dinosaur tooth fairy polishes her collection of fangs. She has a spiky beauty from a Spinosaurus, a mighty molar from the Gigantosaurus, and a splendid side tooth she snagged from a yawning duck build hadrosaur. You see her polishing the teeth? Those were good days for Dinosaur Tooth Perry. The world was hot, the teeth were huge, and the tiny dinies made her happy. But so much time has passed, and now the Dinosaur Tooth Fairy is alone, alone, alone. See, there's nobody there. It's just the dinosaur bones. She knows just what she needs to feel better, though. A new tooth. Like that one over there. It's a teeny tiny white, terrific doozy of a tooth. And it's looser than loose. Look! Click! The dinosaur tooth fairy wants it, wants it, wants it. She leaves behind a collection of fangs and tiptoes after the child. Look at her, Who gets swallowed by a giant roaring monster. The dinosaur tooth fairy rushes to save the day. See her chasing the bus. But the monster only blinks his swoopy lashes and zooms away. She goes rushing into the room. Oh, wow. She hangs on tight until at last he stops and coughs. And whoosh, out pops the child. The dinosaur tooth fairy wants a rest. But she needs, needs, needs that tooth. And so, the sun goes down, she battles the one-eyed Dornoposaurus, who is fierce and impossible. But at last, Chicken defeats him and lands, plonk, next to a beast who has splendid fangs of his own and a giant great deal of drool. The doggy is tickled to see her in this house full of teeth, where some are attacked and some are not. Look, see, here's some teeth not attached. Yet there's still just this one thing she wants, and it's nowhere, nowhere, nowhere to be found. She tries one last spot, but it's nowhere to be found in this shirt cave. But there it is, with a small furry mammal. Nope. It's definitely not with the parrot, who is rude, rude, rude. And that's all there is to say. Tooth pirate, tooth pirate. Now the sun is rising and she doesn't have what she wants. She sits and this is terrible, terrible, terrible. Just as she's about to go up, she hears the child and sniffs the air. It's the tooth. Can you see the tooth on this page? Under the pillow. Oh, there it is. And over the bed, under the pillow, which is a problem because her arms are short as her tantrums are long. Plink! <gasps> Who's this? Somebody else has grabbed the tooth. Oh no, the dinosaur tooth fairy. Oh. Is that the sound of a heart breaking? Can you see? Poor dinosaur tooth fairy. She hasn't got a tooth. <gasps> but it's not, it's not, it's not. Look, I wonder who this is. Is this the real tooth fairy? And this is the dinosaur tooth fairy. Oh, look, they're sharing. So they're both swapping their teeth. Click, click. It's the sound of two new friends who have found the teeth of their dreams. So now they're both happy. All it took was some sharing and something they love 
even more. And see, they've left a little bit of money for the girls sleeping and their happy friends on the window. The end. Hope you enjoyed that story. Have a good day, everybody.